her. It, this place is so cold. Should have brought a jacket. I could use some pants here too. Or book snacks. Interesting. That's one odd bug behavior. Dead in the tracks. Okay, that's gonna be the tricky part. You gotta be kidding me. That's it. Come to the fire. There we go. Maybe I could catch uh, the Scoopy and the Banoopy again. Or three. We're gonna see it break apart. Oh! It blew up! Okay, now this is gonna be interesting. Got it. Now that's how you catch the the, the opponent. We have the components. Okay. Now, I guess it's time to have for another uh, ex capture. Hmm. Looks like it's uh, going uh, loop de loop all the way up there. What's this? Water jam. Man, it's so slow. Now, 
next part. All right then. Doodler, let's go. Ah! Ah! You shouldn't be here. It's not safe. You need to get off this mountain for the sake of your health and well being. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Yep. And. What are you doing up here? I'm surviving. Wait, aren't you Eggabel? You, you know me? Oh, oh, you're the reporter, the one Liz was always talking about. I, I didn't think you'd really come out here. So why is it dangerous? If another earthquake strikes, it'll cause an avalanche. If you're up here when that happens, you'll be buried in snow. And if you don't die from blood force trauma, you'll asphyxiate. Aren't you in danger too? I can handle it. I've been up here for weeks on my own, doing fine. Will you come back to Snacksburg? No. Not until I find Liz. What happened to Lizbert? We... We were exploring the mountain. There was an earthquake, and we got separated. How can I help? Just go back home, okay? Be safe, and please, don't tell anybody I'm up here. Okay, what do we get here? Oh, right. Ah. Oh, 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 not again! Oh, 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 that hurts. Oh, dang it! Come on, Egg. You can figure this out. Just think like Liz. Ah! Stop sneaking up on me or I'll quarantine you! What are you working on? Well, it's a big mysterious door, and I want to open it. There's some kind of weird lock on it. Liz figured it out, but I don't know what happened to her notes. I've almost got it, I swear. I just need to get into Liz's headspace. I have Lisbeth's journal. Oh my grump, where'd you find this? Good work. Was her writing always this sloppy? It's not doctor bad, but still. Oh, huh. Liz says I'll need to activate these statues by feeding them the snack they represent. Uh, thanks for the help. I'll take it from here. What? You don't need to do this alone. Fine. You catch half, I'll catch the other half, and we'll meet back here. Sound good? Good. <laughs> Right. So I have to activate three of those statues. Okay. Mount Sodi? Oh, okay. Chilly nilly. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll just go get the easy parts. All right, I get the Scoopy Banoopy and the rest of the bucks next. I think I should make uh, an offering first. Have your big buck snacks. Uh, those sure are biggins. Well, no matter what size, there's always room for more in my family. I'm sure they'll fit in just fine. Okay. Just follow the pointer and... Oh! Wait! Come back! Manny! But Natalie Steve! They... They left me. I guess that's just what family does. They're never around. Barely ever talk to you. Then one morning you wake up and they're gone without so much as saying goodbye. I thought bug snacks would be simple. They don't have it in them to be cruel. But the cruelest thing you can do is not care at all. Oh, maybe I should pay Wiggle a visit. Um, after I fix the fence, of course. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Chum, for feeding me that random bug snack for no reason. And while we're enjoying frivolous activities, I have another for you. Meet me out back. Okay. I'm afraid that our success may provoke a counterattack from the Grumpinati. However, I have defenses prepared. Oh, well, almost prepared. I've set up flares around town. They should ward away any predator snacks looking to take action against us. How do they work? I'm so glad you asked. Did you know that my trip shot can do more than, well, trip? It can also spread fires, or spread waters, harness the elements of nature, if you will. With that in mind, you should be able to light the rest of my flares. Okay. Burn down Snacksburg with those things. Why are you lighting all this stuff up? Uh, that is classified. Bro, I saw Snorpy set these up. If you don't want to tell me what he's up to, I'll respect that. But don't treat me like I'm stupid, got it? Okay, alright. Spit. Spit. Okay. That's a problem. There we 
go. Now that's uh, thinking outside of the box. Me well to find that darn thing. I lit the flares. Excellent. We are protected for the time being. Shanlo is asking questions. Yes, he does that sometimes. He's adorably inquisitive. You let me worry about that. I'm very used to worrying. For now, ease your mind. I'll let you know if any more trouble arises. All right, then. All right, I got everything. Jilly Nilly. Bounce Sodi. And Stoodler. You're okay. You are okay, right? No drowsiness, numbness, or missing limbs? Uh, nope. Sorry. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. I got the rest of the snacks. Oh, good. Okay. Next she says... Oh. She says we need three grumpuses to do the final step. No. This mountain is unstable. The more of us there are stomping around up here, the more likely it is we'll cause a disaster. I can't let anybody else get hurt for my sake. I feel bad enough involving you. It's not just for your sake. Oh, what would Lisbert do? Ask Philbo. Liz trusts Philbo for some reason. I'll wait for you here. Watch your step on the way back down, okay? I will. Bilbo! Hey! I need your help. You do? With what? I think I know where Lisbert is. <gasps> really? Oh, buddy, say no more. I am there! I'll explain on the way. <sighs> this is a... This is this is a big mountain, huh? A lot of a lot of steps. Oh, Grump, I knew this was a bad idea. Oh, no, I'm fine, really. Oh, hey, you look just like my friend Agabel. Agabel, oh, it's really you. Oh, you're here, alive and not dead. Yes, it's me, Philbo. Calm down, you'll hyperventilate. Huh? Oh, uh, okay, okay, uh, yeah, um, oh, are, are you coming back to Snacksburg? Come on, get up. Let's get this door open before altitude sickness kicks in. Oh, Agabel, it's so good to see you. I can't believe you've been up here all this time. You're so, uh, different. That's right. The soft little Agabel you knew is gone. Yeah, you really came out of your shell, huh? <laughs> hey, um, so why do you want my help? I thought you would have asked Chandlo. Chandlo's got Snorpy to worry about. Besides, you've been following Liz around for years. What? I don't follow her around? Uh-huh. Point is, I know you care. And since I need three grumps, you might as well be one of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What is that thing? Liz thought it might be some kind of ancient temple to bug snacks. Oh, uh, wait a minute. If this door takes three of us to open, how would Lisbert get inside by herself? What makes you think she's behind it? Because she has to be. I looked everywhere else. Well, it definitely looks important. How do we, uh, get in? Right. We need to stand here, here, and here. On three, we push. All right. This Maximum effort. Ready? One, 
two, three. Oh, 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 Grump! I could have killed us all! What did I do wrong? Hey, hey, it's okay, Agabelle. That was kind of scary, but we're fine. We'll just try it again and... No, I'll try it again. You two are going home. Agabelle, I want to find Lisbert just as badly as you do. You don't have to do this alone. Yes, I do! I'm a burden to everybody around me. That's why she's gone. What do you mean? I was being stupid, and I slipped up on the cliffs while I was trying to show off. The earthquake hit, and, and I was going to fall, but Liz saved me, like she always does. She got swept away, and then the ground opened beneath her, and it, it swallowed her up. I'm so sorry, Agabelle. Don't be. I'm used to it. Please just go. I can't stand to see anyone else hurt. <laughs> you know, when I was looking for Lisbert, I got really hungry. I, I couldn't catch bug snacks, so I tried eating this purple flower, but then I threw up. And then I went blind for a bit, and then I fell in a hole. And, and by the time I dragged myself out of there, I, I was so tired and hungry I could barely move. That's when we met, buddy. Philpo, th that's awful. <laughs> it was. Because, you know, I, I can't make it on my own like you and Lisbert. And it's times like those when I could really use a doctor. <laughs> All right. I get it. I need some time to think. I still want to figure out what I got wrong. When I do, I'll come find you. And then we'll find Liz together. Thank you, Philbo. Stay safe. Alright. Looks like I got this stuff to do. Hey, uh, I never did get to a real interview f with you, did I? Oh? Uh, right, right, right. You are a journalist after all. Honestly, I'm nothing special, but if you really want to know more about me, I'll answer your questions. Okay, let's begin. Now, who are you? <clears throat> Dr. Agabel Batternugget, MD. What is your medical spe specialty? Well, in school, I focused on endocrinology, but uh, the clinic I worked at was so small. In practice, I wound up doing family medicine. Why come to Snack Tooth Island? Come on, you know why. <sighs> Lisbert said I didn't have to come, that she'd be back to see me whenever she could, but I wasn't going to let myself get left behind. Thoughts on book snacks? They're a perfectly balanced source of nutrition with upsetting side effects that are otherwise harmless. Alright, Doctor. But how do they make you feel? They make me feel like, for a little while, nothing else in the world matters. And that can be nice sometimes. What about my book snacks allergy? Wait, you're allergic to bug snacks? What have you been eating all this time? Mm. I've been eating sauce mostly. Uh, okay, good. It's not the healthiest diet long term, but Gramble and Shelda are doing all right. Mm, I'll give you a checkup once we've brought Liz back home. Okay, uh... I just ate nothing but chocolate and cheese and uh, sauces. But at least, uh, at least I wouldn't uh, go journalisting on an empty stomach. <sighs> I just wish I had some real food. Anyways, 
we're getting off topic here. <clears throat> Why did you leave town? We've covered that already. Oh. Okay. Any info on Lisbert? I know everything about Liz, but somehow she's still a mystery to me. It's been like that since day one. How did you two meet? I was working at my clinic in the middle of nowhere, thinking about how, once again, I didn't have any plans for the weekend. When Elizabeth Megafig literally kicked down my door and immediately passed out. Wow. What happened to her? Her injuries were pretty serious. Bone fractures, full body contusions, and way less blood than she ought to have. When she was conscious again, she told me all about her adventures. The ruin collapse that nearly killed her. The treasure of Grumsylvania. Everything. The second she could walk, Liz tried going right back to those ruins. So what did you do? I couldn't stop her, so I decided to go with her, just to make sure she'd be okay. And one amazing adventure later, I quit my job and left town with the love of my life. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. I have no more questions. Oh, we're done? Well... Thanks for keeping me company. Hey, uh, you know how to use the projector, right? Here, take this. It's nice to look back on the good times once in a while, and I think you'd like to see it. Well, I'll, I'll get Thanks. back to it. Stay safe out there. I will. All right. <laughs> There's one last thing I get to do. Wambus. He has a journey. <laughs> How you doing? Hey. Oh, hey, Han. Ready to explore again? I suppose so. There's only one more place mentioned in Grandma's journal. Let's go. We've got a head for the Frosted Peak. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost caught up to Grandma Lottablog. Grandma writes about the view from the top. Means we ought to start climbing, don't you think? Oh boy. That's gonna be one heck of a climb. <sighs> so much climbing. At least we made it. Is this what you were looking for? This is it, all uh. right. This camp had to be one of Grandma's. And I'm thinking that could be her right there. It'd be a fitting way to go, staring out over the land she loved exploring. And what's this snack? Maybe a last meal or... Wait. What's wrong? Even when I was a kid, Grandma didn't have too many teeth. This can't be her, unless, ooh, unless I'm remembering wrong, or she got spares. It's been so long, I suppose I can't say. If I want to be dead sure, I need an expert. We climbed all the way up to the mountain for nothing? Now, I got the last one. Okay. Yep. Let's see. Is it... Is it on? Okay. Hey, Liz. While you're busy exploring Snack Tooth, I thought you might want to see how our town is coming together. I know you'll see it when you come back, but... Fun to watch a work in progress. Hey, Agapro! 
I was just asking Snorpy where we should put your crib! Oh, I don't know. I think anywhere would be fine, really. Nonsense! I'm looking to create the optimum tactical advantage here. Which direction does Lizbert face when sleeping, and does she keep her eyes open? For, uh, you have to ask Liz? But Lizbert's gone, dog! We can't wait for her to come back! We need a decision now! Sounds like a job for Bilbo! I think Liz would want a place close to everybody. Chandler, Snorpy, we're gonna put Liz and Egg's house right at the heart of town. We are, are we? And who exactly put you in charge? Uh, Lizbert did? Um, weren't, weren't you at the meeting? Hmm, I don't recall that part. Everybody keeps forgetting that I'm kinda in charge. There's gotta be some way I can remind them. I'm sure you'll think of something. Oh, uh, speaking of my mayoral duties, I've been trying to come up with a name for our town. What do you think of Lizbertalia? Absolutely not! <laughs> Even I have to admit that's a little too Liz-centric. This place belongs to all of us. Okay, yeah, good point, good point. Uh, so, what's something we all have in common? Well, we all like bug snacks, right? Of course! So, uh, something food-related, like, uh, Yum Bill, uh, Picnic Place, uh, Food... Burg... Mackington Square, the Hamlet of Eatsdale, Flavor Town! I kind of like Foodburg and Snackington's good, but a little too fancy. <laughs> what about Snacksburg? Snacksburg! I like it! And it does have a certain <laughs> rustic charm. Then it's settled. As mayor, I hereby declare that our home will be named Snacksburg! Yo, Bilbo! Don't we need to vote? This is a democracy, dog! Oh, yeah, uh, right. <clears throat> then, as mayor, I hereby declare that we will hold a referendum on whether to name our new home Snacksburg. Hooray! So, this is how Snacksburg was first founded? Hmm. That's nice. Hi! I gotta go see what, uh, he's up to. Well met. How, uh, how go the charts? I'm afraid we went after the wrong target. The mountain is now more active than ever. But the good news is I've isolated the source of this seismic activity. The bad news is it's on the frosted peak, and this time I've no idea what it might be. Be on your toes, chum. This one could get messy. <laughs> okay. Snorpy? I thought you hated the outside. <laughs> it's the last place the Grumpanati would expect me to be. That, and I'd hate to make you do such a dangerous mission alone. Ah! Here we are, at the source of the seismic readings. But where is the cause? Hmm. It's still a little dark in here. Perhaps you should light that suspicious candle. It is very suspicious. That's it! The Illuminati ah! secret weapon! Quickly, Chuck, dispose of this devious ditto before it brings about. Is that giant cake? my readings, it's still around here somewhere. We'd better go find it and finish the job. Hmm. How about we follow those little... 
little cake. Hey, spiders. Ah, there it is. No escape now, you cunning confection. Chum, we've almost got it. Right. All the yeah, baby cake lights. Oh man. Dude. Can can this day get any more annoying? Ah, finally. Tough guy. Gotcha. Brilliant work. The seismic activity has ceased for the moment. You know, for a secret weapon, that was a little lacking in subtlety. Who do the Grumpanati think they're fooling? I mean, honestly, what natural evolutionary process could possibly result in a birthday cake? But, no matter. Feed me the cake legs and we can leave this dreadful mountain. Alright then. Ha! Who's the daddy now? Well, at least they stopped being so annoying. Right. There we go. A happy birthday indeed. Thanks to you, we saved the island. Now let's hurry back to Snacksburg post haste. My paws are about to freeze off. Crumpin, why? I, I, I wish I could tell you. Then tell me. I'm done playing games, dog. You could have died up there. And then what would I do, huh? I'm sorry, Chandlo. That was not cool. Just, I gotta chill out. You figure out when you're ready to talk to me. I... I know he hates being in the dark. And I hate leaving him there. I want to tell him everything, but... I don't want to lose him. If he knows... He'll... He'll be a target? Is that really it? No. No. Uh, the truth is, I don't think he'll believe me. But now it seems like I might lose him whether I tell him or not. 
So congratulations, Grumpinati. You win. These are the, the big ones. These are the strongest to uh, bug snacks I ever fought. Look at their babies! Although... This little... It's so adorable! It can be a nuisance at times, but... Yeah, adorable. And that one goes boom. And this one... It became the body of him, Mega Maki. And this one... It tends to get annoying when it was in the conga line. It's not so bad. I mean, they're adorable! Hey there! It's like they're children! It, um, it, this one is the mama. And that one is daddy. That one is supreme. And this one is mega. So, yeah. Hey! You're pretty cool like that. Okay. Now it's time for me eh, eh, to go do something. There we go. Eh. Frozen Stoodler, anyone? <laughs> well, that's all right then. Thanks for the help. May I keep it? I could use a few more skeletons in my closet. <laughs> Go ahead. It doesn't really matter now anyway. Are you okay? I'm not doing too good. I'll never know what happened to my grandma. The end of Bronica Lotta Blog is a big blank spot in history. There's nothing left of her here. Just like everybody else who came to this island. A place where you go to be forgotten. A place where I'll be forgotten. But, you know, maybe at least the Buck Snacks will remember me. I got both of them. A crib. Yep. Yeah. These are very, very nice. Oh. Seems good here and there. Although the up here is way nicer. Very nice. Okay. Yep. Time to hit the hay.